and welcome to yet another episode of Open Scad. Get them fancy shapes and store. Whoa, that's laggy. But today's episode is all about modules. Yay! We like modules. Let's do some modules. So, a module is essentially, um, it's a model put into a single line of code. Yeah, I think, is that, that, nope, nope, that didn't make sense. I'll just show you. So, to do a module, you just type module, space, and then whatever the name of your module is going to be, let's say, A. And then open close parenthesis, open brace, and here you type in whatever you want in your module. Let's make this one a sphere. 20. Oh, gotta have that, that parenthesis, not a zero, a parenthesis. And then you close it off with a bracket. And now you notice when I hit F5, nothing renders. It's because everything we've typed in is in a module which modules themselves don't render until you call them by their name, in this case, A, and the open close parenthesis, and then semicolon. And now, we get our module, which is just a bland little sphere. Ah, my sphere. We Inch, do we? So, in mud, but with modules, we can also add in transformations and whatnot that will be consistent throughout the modules. So, let's say, uh, difference. Ends. Difference. And then, let's difference out a cylinder. Cylinder. <laughs> Not an apostrophe, I want a comma. Uh, a ten. Ten sounds good. What'd I do? What done I do? Oh, gotta close off the difference. There we go. And now, our module is a cylinder with a chunk of a... Or, it's a sphere with a chunk of a cylinder cut out. Now, you probably wondering, well, why don't we just type different sphere cylinder? Well, the cool part about modules is you can call them multiple times. So we can do tran... Tran... Transform. Transform. Translate. I have no comment on that, just total idiot moment. Anyway, translate 100 by 00 and blah 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 blah. And then call our A again. Oh, that's what it did. And now we have we should have two A's. Oh, that's right. There we go. That's what happens if you put the semicolon after transformation. It just kind of ends. Anyway, now we have two of the exact same module. So now instead of typing different sphere cylinder twice, we just had to type A. And then a the parenthesis. We don't worry about that. We always got to type that. We can type it as many times as we want. Do it anything we want. It's just awesome stuff. And you can even use modules in modules. So let's do module B. No, another cool thing about modules that I may as well do out here is you can call local variables in them. So let's just do height. We'll get to why that's so special once we're done typing this in. But anyway, so module B, we can call... Let's, let's do a hull of a couple module A's. Alrighty, so now we just hull A and translate 
by with another A and then translate by with 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 it is a word it is a word but it's not the word we want with divided by two zero and height yeah it height 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 are you going to cooperate you program apparently he doesn't want to cooperate and then we close off our hole and our module and we have five and still nothing changes because up here in the renders which is what's actually rendering nothing changed so we can get rid of that and we put in module B and now since we have these variables that we defined in here we have to declare them up here so height equals a hundred and width equals 50 and then we press F5 and it hello oh F5 I forgot to press F5 when I said we pressed F5 and now we have this which is it's a triangle yeah but the cool part about it is we can set the width to say 500 and while well, it renders now we have that and we can do this multiple times as I have said previously so translate translate this over by something on the y hundred why not that seems like a nice number and then we can do module B height, height equals 250 and width width equals 200 and now we have once this renders and now we have two module B's that have different specs on them because while well, we declared the same module we defined different whoa we defined different local variables for each one that's only used in that specific render that wouldn't work if we were to define the variables up here in our parameters section because then they would change both of these modules the same it's cool huh isn't this cool I mean, it, it's still a lot of use for lo for um, global variables, but these are just awesomeness. So, I guess now it's project time. What are we going to project? What can use modules? Hmm. I think last time, didn't we make a train? No, last time we messed with our camera. I think, you know what, I'll make this coffee mug. We will make a coffee mug in OpenSCAD. Let's do it. So let's see, module, we will need a handle. So let's do a hand, handle, handle, module handle, and, hmm. <laughs> Let's see, how are we going to make a handle? Um, we could do a cylinder with a cylinder cut out of the middle. So that would be difference. Differ difference. 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 A cylinder. Uh, let's... Five? Uh, how thick is a cylinder? You know what? I'll just sort of guess off this. That looks like about two centimeters. 
So let's do 20 high. And then this looks, yay, about 50 millimeters wide. We don't want it tapered. And then we're going to need another one. A cylinder that is a little taller. Let's do 30. And a little smaller, 45 and 45. Not 450, 45. We're also going to need to translate that down to make sure that it cuts through all the way. Tra translate that by negative 5 on the Y, negative 5, and I think that's about it, right? F5, oh, gotta call it, got to call our modules, handle, 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 hmm, kind of bland, and not oblong shaped enough. Maybe we can fix that with a scale. Let's scale it. Scale it by 1.5 on the Y. Yeah. Yeah, so 1 comma 1.5 comma 1. And now we're going to need to do that on our other cylinder as well. Scale by one comma one point five comma one do 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 What happened? What did you do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I'm so sorry. Uh oh, there it is. I forgot to do my opening bracket. There, that looks nice and oblongy. Hmm. It doesn't have much of a taper to it. Wonder translate it over on the X a little. Let's try that. Negative ten. Negative five. That looks pretty good, huh? Of course we gotta cut off all this extra meh we don't want. So now we're going to need a cube. Translate. We're doing a translate. Yay. I don't know how much we're going to have to translate that. But I know we're going to have to. And now cube. My friend. Yay. I got my friend back. So let's see. X is going to have to be um, 50. Yeah. So 50. And I see no reason to give our not give ourselves a little padding, so let's make that 60. Y is going to have to be 50 times 1.5, 75, and a little padding, so let's just make that 80. And then the Z is also going to have to be 30, just like our cut-through cylinder. And that should be our cube. Uh, let's hashtag that just so we can see what's going on. Whoa, that's right, I remember now, <laughs> because uh, that's a radius, so we're only doing a quarter of the cylinder. So our X is pretty good, actually, but we're going to need to make that 160. And now we translate that back on the Y by negative 80. Uh-huh. And that brings it all nice and flush and pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Now we gotta move this over here. Uh, translate on the X by negative 60. Sweet. And then negative 5 to just make it pretty. Oh no. It's missing something. What is it missing? 65. Ooh, maybe that's what it's missing. Hey, that's what that looks better now. It looks better. Sweet. 
And then control I because we want this all nice and centered. Translate. Translate. Yep. And that's going to have to translate back on the X by negative 10. No, by positive 10. Positive 10. No, do 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 do. Keep pushing all the wrong buttons. Can't seem to push the right buttons today. There we go. Now that's all nice and centered. Now we're going to need an actual cup. So, module cup. Kaboop. Kaboop. It's a module kaboop. Alrighty. Mod. Module. There's no N in module. Why do I keep pushing the N? So, module cup. Um... I don't know how... You know what? Let's just make that variables. Height and diameter. Sure, those look like good variables. And then... Cup, cup, cup. That's going to be a cylinder with a cylinder cut out of the middle. So, let's make a cylinder. Cylinder. I am having epic brain farts today, aren't I? It's like my head's just going... Then again, that's basically every day. So we need our cylinder height to be height. Height, and then diameter, and diameter, and then cylinder that number means the radius so it's gonna have to be diameter times two that way we aren't getting confused da, da, diameter divided by two I got I got I got I I I I I smart right I type diameter <sighs> why <laughs> Uh, aren't I Bethel? So let's see. We're gonna have to translate this up. There's nothing on the Y, nothing on the Z. Let's do five, or actually five on the Z, nothing on the Y. And that should be plenty. And then another cylinder. That should also be height by diameter. Diameter, diameter, divided by 2 minus, how thick do we want our walls to be? Let's just go with 5. We seem to like the number 5. Yay, 5. It's a number. It's a number that's a number that's very numberly. And close that off. Huh? Oh. Have to define height and diameter. Let's make height. How tall is this little cylinder thingy? 50 times 1 by 5 is 70. Let's make the height 80. Height equals 80. And then diameter equals 60. Just a little smaller than the height. Huh? What's that? Oh, I forgot to do a difference. I feel smart now. Aren't I just smart? Difference. Difference, difference, difference. How do you expect to cut a cylinder out of a cylinder if you don't use the difference function? Why is my phone ringing? Uh, that's bugging me. Stop ringing. Stop. Please ignore my annoying phone. Hmm. That wall thickness seems kind of much. You know what? Let, let's put the handle on it and then do prettying up. So now we're going to have to translate and it's supposed to be an L there 
and rotate our stuff, although I don't know how much we got to translate it, so I'll just kind of close that off, rotate, 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 yep, and then rotate it by, I don't know either, <laughs> I forget if it's the Y or the X axis, so we have to rotate around, oh well, handle, is it just me, does that handle look a little big? Oh well. So we have to rotate it around the X axis. Yeah, that handle is just a wee bit big. Uh, gotta translate it up a ways. May as well make it the handle about size it needs, or about place it needs to be. So that would be. Oh, hey! I know why it's not working. Because I forgot that you put in radius and cylinders for the how many time this episode? Like, third? Yeah, that's stupid. Ow, that hurt. I think I have a concussion. Anyway, so let's just double that, and now it's working off the diameter. Ow, why did I hit myself? That's rather painful. Okay, <laughs> so translate it up by <coughs> 80. Let's do 80. Eh, I think 80 looks good. 80 looks good. 80 looks just fine. I have to translate it on the Y over by how tall is it? 20, so 10. Negative 10. No, positive 10. Yeah, positive 10, and then gonna have to move it back by the radius, so, um, that's not global, so I'll have to type it, I'll have to hard code it by 2, and it's kind of sticking out a ways, so minus 5. Yep, that's a coffee cup. Sweet, why? I just prettied this up and it's all weird again. No. Stop that. Bad open scad. Right, I want to make it prettier. So, while I'm prettying, we went over... Um... Not very much, actually. I mean, it's, it's, it's a really important not very much because I mean like modules is the awesomeness of open sked all put in a module yeah because that made so much sense well bye 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 Guess I'll just see you guys later. Yeah. Bye.